Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Attack of the B Team. I was not going to record, uh, but I happened to be outside working on my castle and <laughs> this kind of spawned right here and it's just tearing up. Oh, oh, oh. Can it destroy cobblestone? Oh look at that. You can see all the different colors. Oh how wild. Oh and it's kind of coming towards me. Do I get, ooh, okay. Do I get pulled into it? I can't tell if I'm moving towards it or it's moving towards me. I think it might be moving towards me. I kind of want to find out what happens if I go into the tornado. But at the same time, I'm a little worried that I'll end up who knows where and lose all of my stuff. How crazy is this? Is this cool or what? Oh, wow. And it gets so quiet. It's kind of creepy how quiet it is. Whoa. Ooh, sorry. Something in my house moved. Uh, I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna put my stuff in a container. Oh, it didn't destroy. Okay, good. I thought it destroyed everything in its path, but maybe you have to turn that on. And I did not specifically turn that on. I am, I am tempted to just let's. We're we're gonna, we're gonna just dump everything I have, all of my stuff. I'm gonna see what happens when I go into the tornado. And just come on, come on, come on, come on. All the stuff, all the stuff. Let's see. Hopefully it stays. Stay. Let me. Come back! Come back! I want to see if you kill me! Wow. That moves pretty fast for a tornado. That is so cool. Let's see if we can catch it. Hopefully we can catch it. I want to see what happens. That is so neat that you can see the color. I mean, look at it. As soon as it hits the ground, it changes all the different colors. Did it dissipate? Aw, did we miss it? I think we missed it. Dang it! I was too slow! This is what happens when you're slow. What the heck is that? Is that a sheep? Oh, that sheep seemed to go really, really fast. Maybe that was the after effects of the, of the, the tornado. Look at it. It's dissipating. Let's see if we can get up to the clouds and see them. My clouds are off, actually, from the last episode still. So this is definitely something that spawns in of its own volition. I can't seem to get any higher. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so bizarre. Oh, my gosh. Can we go above it? We can. We can go above it. And it's still spinning despite the fact that there's no tornado there. I wish I hadn't been so slow putting all my stuff up because I would have loved to have tried to see what happens when you go into the tornado. Do you get thrown around? Do you get killed instantly? Especially as a bat. What happens? Huh. Interesting. Whoop. Okay, well. That is cool. That is very cool. I like this mod. Uh, let, let's see. Where, now I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Uh, I'm actually going to do... Let's do this. This is going to be fun. Ready? Yeah. I was a bat. I made sure I'm over water. And we should just drop. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> sunk all the way to the bottom. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, see, it's still spinning, but there's no tornado. I wonder if it, like, comes and goes and comes and goes. I don't know. I don't know much about this weather mod. It looks like the sun's coming out, so I'm assuming it should dissipate sometime soon. And I don't know why it does that. Have you noticed? Whenever I take off my little thing so I can take a look at things closer, my gooey... Oh, and it disappeared. Now, whenever I remove my GUI, oh, which I need it back on now, my screen gets a lot darker, and I don't know why that is. And there are our buddies, the mob killers. Let's go say hi to them. Wow! What are y'all doing out here? There are so many of you in the middle of the ocean. You must have gotten picked up by the tornado. And I need to kill some squids. I need to kill some squids so I have ink sacks for my painting because I'm going to be using a lot of paint. I've already used up one paint bucket. Which, by the way, if you're familiar with the open mod at all, uh, the open blocks mod, excuse me, which I am kind of learning it, uh, learning as I go, this is the first time I've ever used up an entire thing of paint. You get the bucket back after you use up all the paint. It just turns into a regular empty bucket and you can refill it and, and re-spin it and make more uh, Make it again. 
make more of the, what's one call it, the paint, which I think is pretty darn awesome. So I'm going to go back. I didn't actually get much done since last episode because, yeah, all the, the cool stuff happened. So I thought, hey, we, get, we need to take a break. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and keep working, and we'll check back in in a little bit. Let me get my stuff back. That's not my stuff. That's my stuff. We are now back to our regularly scheduled episode, in which case we are going to start dabbling a little bit into necromancy. Uh, one of the mods I was actually excited for, it wasn't one of the ones I was originally looking for when I started this Let's Play, or looking for a mod for a Let's Play. Uh, this is one of the ones that I've been hearing about and reading about that sounds very interesting. If you recall last episode, I was trying to figure out how to get a jar of blood. Let's actually take a look at what is available in the necromancy department. I'm going to have to use that R, aren't I? I am necromancy. I hate having my stuff rearranged. If anybody out there knows how to turn it off, please let me know because I have tried. I did it in the normal way where I basically go to all of the options and try to find anything that's bound to the R key and I have no luck. Anyway, uh, I was trying to get the uh, Necromonicon, Necronomicon, I don't know how to pronounce that, but the Necromancy book is what we are going to be calling it, because I cannot pronounce it. And so we're trying to get this, the way to make that requires a jar of blood, and the fun thing is to make a jar of blood, you need a bucket of blood. To make a bucket of blood, you need a jar of blood, or actually eight jars of blood. So it's not very helpful, so it required some uh, off-camera uh, off research went online to the Googles uh, and discovered lots of information uh, and so we are actually going to get ourselves some jars of blood right now Whoop. and it helps if I actually have jars let's see did I make them ahead of time or did I use them all for my experience bottles I must have used them all but we have lots and lots of glass jars are easy to make lots of glass I make glass just kinda of randomly in fact let's refill Hola. Let's see for my XP. There we go. Close that back up. Ah, ha ha ha. Put that back. Okay. So we don't need this many. We just need the one. I don't know if it needs to be in my hot bar or not, but we're going to put it on my hot bar anyway. And then we're going to go back up. We are going to the cow farm. We are going to take blood from the cows, which is rather twisted, but that's that's how we're going to do it. That's how it's going to go down here. I just need to switch over to bat. Need to become a bat. The dark knight. Just call me the dark knight. Okay. Uh, and apparently in order to make a jar of blood, you first need... Let's actually get away from the cows while I talk about this. Uh, you first need, of course, a jar. Ta -da, and then you need bone needles. This guy here. In order to make a bone needle, it's just bone meal in your crafting. Ha ha ha. So there we go, we have 11 bone needles. I think they get used up each time, but we should, let's actually see if we can get this to ping into our thing. So if I prick a cow, apparently I need to get a little closer. Prick, prick darn you, left click, left click. Okay, not right click. There we go. I used up a bone needle and I got a jar of blood. So we need to do this a few times because apparently these are all necessary. Uh, if you notice, it does not actually kill the animal, which is cool. It does take half a heart. Which is fine. We'll make all of these cows mad at us. They will be running around like crazy, and they will never stop running. Never stop running. We'll just call this running cows. Forget the running man. You are the running cows. Okay, whoop. I'll be back. <laughs> uh, if you know, yeah, okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger was in The Running Man, and it, yeah. Never mind. So, we have ourselves the jar of blood. We have 11 jars of blood. And then to make the Necromonicon, the Necromancy book, let's actually get out of bat mode so I can be at a reasonable height. This is an unusual height. No me gusta the height. Okay, oh, no. Wrong button. Wrong button. Uh, ooh, what? I'm becoming something that I, I am. I am this thing. <laughs> this, is, this is a Nautilus. You know what that looks like? That looks like the, the Good Boulder Fist logo on the side there. Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, anyway. Uh, I did not want... I did not mean to do that. That was an accident. I didn't mean to tell it was an accident. Uh, where's... There we go. There I am. 
I probably could have gone the other way a little bit faster, but that is cool. Okay. We need to change our hat, too. Uh, okay. So, we have our jar of blood, and we are making the necromancy book. So we need a book, an ink sack, leather, and nether wart, and a feather. And we should have all of these parts and pieces. We have a feather. That's the thing I killed that I just became. Did that say fossils archaeology? Empty shell. Interesting. That's another thing I want to get into is this fossils archaeology and see what's what with that. And I've already gotten distracted. What was I looking for? I know I need paper. And do I have leather in my inventory? I do not. But the leather is easy to come by. I was actually in there. That's for the book. And then we need four for the corners. And then we need nether wart, which is probably in our nether. Nether wart. We had a whole bunch of nether wart over there that I was growing a while ago. Where did I put it? Where did I put the nether wart? Oh, nether wart! You shouldn't be with the trees. It would be in the plant box. Maybe I put it over here. Let's see. Yes, that's what I did. Okay. One of those. And... I forgot. Feather book ink sack. That was the other thing. The ink sack will have to steal from the paint mixer. I went and harvested some more squid, so I have some, which is good. Okay, so one jar of blood, one nether wart, ink sack, feather. Actually, what we should have done is made the book first. Make all of the parts and pieces before you make the whole. Okay, there's the book. And now we're short one leather. Didn't I count the leather out? I could have sworn I had five leather. Oh well, okay. So, four leather. One jar of blood. One ink sack. One nether wart. One feather. One book. And anyone listening to this conversation who doesn't know what I'm doing is very curious right about now. So now we have a our necromancy book. Right here. Uh, and apparently I cannot do anything with it. Right clicking, left clicking, none of that helps. You actually have to make an altar. Which is by Oakwood and oh we have all the ingredients. We have them all at hand already. Let's actually sleep so it's daytime. So we can see a little better. Sleep. I like how look it looks like I'm in the bed, kinda under the covers. That's kind of a nice little touch. I'm assuming that's on purpose and not some sort of bug. Uh I think that's a nice touch. We're actually gonna go ahead and grab some of this. Uh, simply because I want to put a floor in the tower. I've been working on the castle upstairs just a little bit off and on. I'm finished painting it because I'm totally crazy. I painted it inside as well as outside. Whoop! There we go. See? Ta-da! <laughs> I like it. I started putting a little bit of windows. The windows, I actually think it makes it look a little more modern-y and less castle-y, but I like windows, so we're keeping the windows. And I actually painted the inside... A, like a darker gray because I'm insane. See, there's a regular cobblestone, and it's it's a slightly darker, more bluish looking gray on the, on the inside now. I don't know. I might end up changing that later on, at least portions of it once I get the room. Anyway, this is gonna be our necromancy tower here, which is why I got some pine woods. We are going to make a pine wood floor. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but I am. Okay, uh, let's do it here. Some wood. A little bit of a floor here. Okay. Just a quick floor. This is obviously going to be a tight fit. This is not intended to be anything large. Although, come to think of it, this is going to be difficult to get the animals out, isn't it? Or whatever my creatures are. My dark creatures of the night. It'll be difficult to remove them unless... I could just do a trap door and just dump them out with a trap door. That might, that might be where I'm doing. Okay. We're going to stick to the plan for now. I can always change my mind later. That is one of the best things about Minecraft. You can change your mind as much as you want. So we're going to put the altar here. It's just two cobblestones and oak plank. And then I think you shift right click. Yes. Uh -huh. I was going to change back to myself so we can get a better height perspective. But I think I'm going to stay back because I'm just going to have to fly back out. There's our altar. This is what we use to build our creatures. Uh, you take your jars of blood, and then we'll talk about this here in a minute. Uh, and then you build your pots, and you have your creature. It could be like Frankenstein's monster. Uh, yeah, which is actually one of my favorite books of all time. Mostly because it's so much fun to study. Through high school and all the way through college, uh, 
every time I had a paper that I had to write for English class and I got to choose the book, I always chose Frankenstein. And no, I did not use the same paper over and over again. I built upon the last one because I am a total nerd like that. Okay, so we have our jars. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make... Uh, you also need to make a... I don't know what this is. I haven't looked at one. Oh, work in progress. It doesn't matter what it is. We don't need it. We have the sewing machine we need to make. Uh, we don't necessarily need it right now. What I'm more interested in at this point in... That's creepy. At this point in time is actually the scythe. Plus 8 attack damage, bone scythe, and blood scythe. I don't know what the difference is. I don't think it matters what kind you get. Oh, diamond and obsidian. What is this one? Iron hoe and a jar of blood. Should we do the one with the plus 8 attack damage? I'm leaning towards the plus 8 attack damage. Uh, so we need obsidian. Wait. Did that require the scythe previously? It did. Okay, so we need two obsidian, a jar of blood, not a problem, a couple of pieces of iron, a diamond. So let's get the diamond. The, the, uh, the diamond. The iron. And obsidian is up here. One, two. Okay. And then we needed a diamond, which is right here. Plentiful diamonds. I haven't even gone mining since the first time I logged in. Well, not the first time, but when I built that. I haven't been mining since. I've just been utilizing all the stuffs. Uh, and then what was it that I needed? There was one other piece, wasn't there? Bone. That's right. We need the bone. Give me the bone. It's in our bone box. Okay. So first thing we need to do is build this guy, which requires another jar of blood, which create the parts before you make the pieces, Ryla. Okay. There we go. Make the part before you make the hole. Duh. Okay. Iron shovel. Blood. Stick. And obsidian. And we have our blood scythe. Let's go ahead and immediately upgrade. Because that's the way we roll. Put the scythe there. Na -na -na -na. Diamond, bone, obsidian, and... Ha ha! No. Yes. That's right. Bone scythe. Yes. Okay. Excellent. And then we have our jars, our empty jars, which we are going to need. Uh, and that is necessary for collecting of souls, which is what this scythe is good for, which you use the scythe for. So now you go uh, kill any mob. Again, we will sacrifice our poor cows. They shall be sacrificed to the blood god. Well, first let's take a look at this. We gotta, we gotta take just, we gotta appreciate for a minute this image. Aw, you can't see. <laughs> I thought I, would, I was hoping I would be a bat holding a scythe. I thought that would be kind of fun. Kind of funny looking, but that's okay. We can we can go back to being Ryla. Ta-da! Look how big that thing is. It's huge. Oh, and look at the skeleton skull on the top. I'm sitting here pointing and you can't see. Uh, look right there. Isn't that cool on the thing? Oh, that is neat. That is a nice detail. That is pride in your work right there. That's awesome. Alright, let's... Oh, wait. Wait, wait. No, no. I don't want to be that thing. Stop making me be that thing. What am I looking for? I'm looking for... I'm looking for... I like the cat ears. You know, the cat kind of goes with the bat. So I'm like Batman and Catwoman all in one. That's kind of cool. Talk about a split personality right there. Okay. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh, gotta turn that back on. Needed a bat. And I needed F5. F5. There we go. One day I'll get these coordinates or these these keys down pat. Okay. So, we have our jars. Let's go ahead and get this back out so we can see. Now, if we kill, supposedly, one of these animals... You have a computer. Wow. We get the soul. Yes. See? Oop. Two souls in a jar. Right there. Which is awesome. Which we need to build our animals or creatures. And do we get their stuff? It does look like we get their stuff, but not as much as my sword, because of course my sword has looting on it. Look at the little cloud! The little skulls! Those little particle effects? How awesome is that? I mean, creepy, but awesome at the same time. Like I said, the details. There is a lot of detail in this mod that you kind of have to look for. It's not super obvious. Okay. Let's see. Wow, they are, they are all just freaking out. You have a turtle in a hat. Let me kill you. Okay, apparently I already had that hat. I think I've already got all these hats. We're going to leave these cows 
who are all freaking out, which I can understand. I mean, a bat with a scythe floating above them. I would be freaking out too. That is not something I would want to see every day. So there we go. We have our scythe that does give us a few of the materials. Like I said, not as much as my looting sword. Uh, we will need the leather, I believe, to make skin using the sewing machine. Uh, I guess I don't know where to put all this stuff. We're going to go ahead and skip this for now. I'm not going to put this stuff. I'm going to show you how to make a sewing machine right quick. And then I think we're going to go ahead and call it an episode. Uh, the tornado kind of cut into this little one. But like I said, I, I just thought that was pretty cool. I could not, not share the tornado. I thought it was pretty awesome. Next time I'll try to be a little bit faster about getting out there and, and getting blown away by it. To see what happens. I'm going to pulverize. You get six when you pulverize. Instead of just the three. Okay, so we need to make one of these guys. And then we need some string, which I have here. Yes, string. One string. And we're going to need lots of string and lots of bones and lots of things. Supposedly there are, <laughs> which is really disturbing, but supposedly there are lakes of uh, blood or little pools of blood in the nether above the lava pools, which is pretty pretty twisted but it's an easy way of getting a bunch of leather from what I understand we have not been to the nether in this particular mod pack yet uh, so that is something we're probably gonna have to do just so we can go find ourselves lakes of blood which is not something I would really ever expect to have found myself doing in Minecraft but that's that looks like that's gonna be what's gonna happen pretty soon uh, maybe in the next episode or two so we're gonna go up here and then we can plunk down our sewing machine. I'm just going to use this for now, just to give a little bit more height. I'm assuming at some point I will be rylicized. There we go. And then we right click it, and this is where we put bone needles, this is where we put string, this is where we put leather that we make into skin. I don't think you can use straight up leather. I think you have to do something to the leather, leather to make it skin. I'm not entirely sure yet. I need to play with that. I saw I saw that episode. Uh, I don't remember the. I'm sorry. I don't remember the LPR. I watched it from. Maybe if I can find it again, I'll put it in the description. Um, but it was a very good explanation. And you have to make skin. I think there is a recipe for making skin using leather skin, uh, which of course doesn't show you here, despite how I click. Uh, but yeah, that's that is the essential blocks to make necromancy or to make lovely monsters that shall roam and do my bidding little minions uh, and so that is definitely something I'm gonna be doing it pretty soon well hopefully if I can get all the materials depending on what's necessary uh, but yeah so that is the plan so far I think it shall work with any luck but anyway thanks everyone for watching my name is Ryla and I'll talk to you later